my name is John Bates. I am a Morecambe Town Councillor. For many years I've been associated with Morecambe in Bloom and this year I've done a little bit of judging for the competition. I judge the community section, shops and hotels and bed and breakfasts. There's one set of things you always look for, which of course is the actual flowers and the blooming and the overall impression. The way in which people have used the flowers, tubs, planters, beds, whatever they might be, you look at those and you decide on the merits of them. But then you've got to look at the individual kind of premises. If you're looking at shops, you would look at whether or not they've got a lot of space for displaying plants, and what use they make of it. If they've not got much space, how ingenious they are in using the limited space they've got. In community awards, you would look at the same things, but you'd also want to know to what extent the community was involved in the work and the preparation and the maintenance of the display. When you're looking at hotels and bed and breakfast, you're going to ask yourself whether or not they contribute a great deal to the actual welcome that visitors get, what they add to the guests' experience, and again, all those other things, what the people have a chance to do. If they don't have a lot of space, there's a limit to what they can do. The fact they've done anything at all is often something to be recognised and, and rewarded. When we first began helping to organise the Morecambe in Bloom competition, I had the pleasure of taking round a lot of very knowledgeable judges to look at these things, and I learned a great deal about gardening. To such an extent, I started doing it myself. Couldn't do a great deal while I was working, now I'm retired, I do a little bit more. And I have come to realise what a great joy and a great pleasure gardening is, and what it gives to people in terms of their own personal satisfaction, levels of fulfilment, enables them to explore their own creativity in a way that many other things don't do, many other hobbies might not do. The Morecambe and Bloom competition, there can't be anything wrong in encouraging people to make their premises look nicer, to make our streets look nicer. There are many wonderful gardens here. There are some wonderful backyards to be seen. Most people will never see much of that, and many of those people who have wonderful gardens don't enter the competition, but that doesn't matter in the end. We're doing our bit to encourage those who do want to enter. It can't possibly do any harm, and it probably does a little bit of good.